I'm going to talk to you about internal hemorrhoids as well as some recommended treatments. First of all, I want to tell you what a hemorrhoid is. It's an inflamed, irritated vein that's located in or around the anus. It's usually caused by excess pressure, and the causes of pressure often include constipation, pregnancy, poor posture, and then sitting or standing for long periods of time. There are several other causes for hemorrhoids, but the main cause is usually excess pressure. There are different types of hemorrhoids as well. The one we're focusing on is internal hemorrhoids. Internal hemorrhoids are located on the inside of the anus, thus the name. They're usually not very painful, and the main symptom of internal hemorrhoids is bleeding. External hemorrhoids are located on the outside of the anal opening. Often they're extremely itchy or painful, and they also include several other symptoms. Prolapsed hemorrhoids are when the veins actually come outside of the anus. This is a symptom of internal hemorrhoids that go untreated, so it's important that you treat your internal hemorrhoids. We have several treatments to consider. Uh, too many people try to treat the symptoms instead of the problem, and that's usually where they go wrong. No matter how you disguise the pain, the problem is still there. So unless you treat the root of the problem, your topical treatments do not make sense. Internal treatments can heal every aspect of your problem, so keep that in mind. Topical treatments can give you relief, so you can use those in conjunction with internal treatments. Just don't use those as your main treatments, since they do not heal that, the very core and root of your problem. Uh, when you're looking for a treatment, it's important that you consider the causes of your internal hemorrhoids. We already talked about constipation, that is what adds pressure. There are also some causes um, besides constipation, and that would be inflammation or irritation of the veins, poor blood circulation, which plays a huge role in your situation. If your blood is not circulating properly, it's not carrying the waste out, and it's not carrying the nutrition to where it needs to go. Excess buildup can um, occur on the inside of your vein walls, which leads to irritation and inflammation, and small blood clots even, so it's very important that you have proper blood circulation. A lot of people have the inability to cleanse waste out of their blood, as I mentioned. It's key that you get that fixed. A lack of nutrition and poor diet also plays a key role in the development of hemorrhoids. It's important that you find a solution for each of the causes of hemorrhoids in your treatment. We have a recommended treatment. It's called Hemorrhoid Harry's Herbal Remedy. This remedy has a combination of herbs that attack each cause of your problem. Ginger is one of them. It, it has several functions, but the main function is to cleanse the blood. Witch Hazel is another, and its main role is to soothe inflammation. Cayenne is a great herb and it has several uses, but the main use in this remedy is to increase your blood circulation. Stone root is well known for strengthening veins. White oak bark is another herb that helps to strengthen veins as well. And butcher's broom helps to increase circulation too. Each of these herbs has lots of uh, positive effects on the body, uh, but they each play a key role in eliminating the causes of your problem, which should lead you to leading a hemorrhoid-free life. You can get more information about this at hemorrhoidharry.com. That's www.hemroidharry.com. Hemorrhoidharry.com has a lot of answers to your questions. It's got a lot of free information. So go ahead and check it out, and you should be able to get your solution to your problem. Thanks, and best of luck.